deep in the heart of Portugal lies a once grand palace that seems to have been frozen in time. The estate was once the home to a family that knew no bounds when it came to luxury and extravagance. Built in the mid-1800s with a blend of Victorian, Italian and Portuguese architecture, the palace is an impressive sight to behold, with every detail a testimony to the family's wealth and influence. For generations, the family indulged in a life of leisure, traveling the world in search of new experiences and adventures. But as the years went by, the palace began to lose its luster. The family's heirs, Lucinda and her husband, inherited the estate. But as fate would have it, they were the last in line. Lucinda's husband passed away, leaving her alone in this vast and empty palace. When she passed away in 2009, the palace was left to the mercy of time and the elements. Today, this once grand place lies abandoned, a forgotten relic of the past, and the halls that once echoed laughter and music are now silent. Despite its significance, the family descendants seem to have little interest in the estate, having long since moved on to new horizons. Join us as we journey through the forgotten halls of this magnificent palace and explore the secrets and mysteries that have been left behind. There we are again, everybody. Welcome back to the Bros of DK. I am Leslie, and behind the camera, like usual, Mr. Danny. Hello, hello, everyone. And we have something very special to show you guys today. An 18, no, excuse me, 19th century palace that has been built around the mid-1800s from the Nogueira family. And believe it or not, we're gonna take you on a full tour throughout this place today, and I am dressed in a completely new outfit also 18th century, and in this outfit, I'm gonna take you throughout this palace. Right now, we find ourselves in the laundry room where the servants of the Nogueira family used to fold the laundry, wash the laundry, do everything, iron everything, and you can see there are still pieces of costumes and everything left behind oh, in the closets. Wow. I saw the can, crest, can I you saw show the crest, that? wow. That's the uniform of somebody in the house. Maybe Aldino, the father. And do you know what that was used as a Portuguese crest, That's right? It's a Portuguese crest, number two. It doesn't have... Is it something military or uh, something, you would say? I, I wouldn't say military because that's... Yeah, that's a formal jacket. Wow. It's more of a... For example, if you go to a ball or if you go yeah. to something, if, if you wanted to represent mm -hmm. the country or something, you would wear that. That's absolutely it's a beautiful. really amazing piece. I also love the coat hangers that we have in here. Very traditional for Portugal. Yeah. And I am always very sad when we don't use this style anymore nowadays because we all use plastic nowadays and it's so disgusting, I must say. Okay, let's close this one up. What a beautiful... Oh, and these hats, excuse me, sorry, I keep <laughs> going. But these hats are also very traditional for Portugal. Very, yeah. Absolutely all the love clothes. them. Very absolutely beautiful. love them. And like you see, see, see that was a uniform, but the Nogueira family in general, they didn't have a real occupation. They were mostly just investors. They invested in real estate and that's how they earned all their money. And it's also old money that they got over years, decades, decennias that the family collected and just gave to the other family members. Let's go further. Here we come into another section of the basement. General storage section, I would say. That over there in the corner really piques my interest. And Which? I think you can tell me a little bit more about it. This Those? is cork, right? Yeah, it's a piece of a... Uh... Is this like a storage unit or something? I don't know what... I think it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Ba basically, they just cut the tree mm -hmm. in the middle and they sew it together, like, like you see. Mm -hmm. the... I see it here. Yep. 
And this is a sort of yeah. a storage basket, I would yeah. say. It was just to wow. transport stuff. Yeah. Typically Portuguese again. Cork. Again. <laughs> Portugal is the country of cork. You see it everywhere. Yeah. If you've never been to Portugal, definitely put it on your bucket list to visit because this country will blow your mind. It's beautiful. <laughs> It's beautiful and of course also a lot of Porto wine. and a lot of wine in this country. That's also very typical. And all these bottles, Danny, are still original, still unopened. You can see there's a plastic top, so it's probably self-made white wine, I believe, or white port maybe. Wow, this is old. You can see the sediment floating around in it. And also all these bottles up here. Probably liquors and foods and everything they collected and stored here over the years. I absolutely adore this wine cellar. These are all empty bottles in here. Jeez. That's years and years of collecting wine. All gone to waste. Some champagne bottles as well down here. Oh, look at all the debris that has fallen on it over years and years. This is what you think of when you think of an abandoned wine cellar in a castle or in a palace like this. And then we also have these big jugs here in the middle, also very typical for this beautiful country. Wow. You guys, you love your wines and ports. Yep. <laughs> I must say. <laughs> I've noticed this over the many times that I've came to Portugal. Washing line or the drying line? Hanging yeah. straight throughout the basement. I am pretty sure that the Nogueira family, the members, Aldino, and uh, the woman and everybody and the children probably never came to this basement. This was just for the servants and the workers. And now I will take you up to the main section of the house, the living spaces. Up this winding staircase into the main section. Oh, here behind you, Danny, we can see the kitchen. This is a room in the house that is a bit overthrown and vandalized, but still I really adore it. I cannot call this anymore an exhaust to Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Danny corrected me on this one. Um, it's just a chimney. It's just a chimney. Because it doesn't suck air, it's, it's, but it's very typical for Portugal. These very big chimneys above the fireplace and the, the cooking place. Yeah. Wonderful stove below here. Jeez. All the debris over the years that the servants cooked food for the Nogueira family still left behind. And this is a pizza oven, I suppose? Bread oven. Bread <laughs> oven. You're, Back in not, the day, you're not Italians. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day we didn't make pizza. But this is also a very interesting talking point because we're going to see it throughout the house. There's going to be a lot of Italian influence, Portuguese influence, but also Victorian influence throughout the house. And that's why I also really love this place. For the most car part, the kitchen, I'm not going to talk much about it. Just show briefly what we see over here. Behind you, Danny, there's one talking point. I really adore these faucets that we have here above the sink. Oh, that we into. and this is very interesting. I didn't notice, but back in the days, mm -hmm. there was no uh, public water. So oh. they had their own pits. Ah. So sometimes these are water that, that is pumped out yeah. from the pits to, to wash dishes. Okay, so these That's people why were special. They were... Yeah, they were, uh, that's why there's multiple things. My grandmother yeah. also has those. <laughs> wow, jeez. And even another faucet down there. So four yeah, faucets that's, in total. That's the normal water. That's the newer the one. Water, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they kept the old ones in later times. Wow. I love the little teddy bear that's hanging here probably from one of the children. So lovely to see. Wow. Still some touches of the children left inside this house. It's very interesting in this part where we're coming now. There are two staircases in the house and the one we see here in front of us used to be the servant staircase. So the Nagara family themselves wouldn't come a lot in this area of the house. This was mainly for the servants. And you see this a lot in castles and palaces. They uh, have different sections for the servants so they don't run into them that often. And then over here, we come into the entrance hall for the family members themselves. And you can see already that this is a fascinating entrance hall. The first thing that grabs my attention in this hall is this wonderful Arabian tapestry here on the wall. 
absolutely adore is the wild animals. The Arabian people fighting them. You can see the lions down there. Jeez. It's one of a kind, it's really beautiful. Yeah, exactly. A couple of keys. This is typically for a castle or a palace. You can see the keys with a little note next to it. What does this say? Portão de ferro, Carvalho, Aldino. Aldino. So that's was from the father or something, right? Uh, yeah, it's the, um, the, the uh, oh, iron right. gate. The iron gate? So maybe it's the, the, the front gate of the house. Oh yeah, most likely because that's an iron gate. Jeez. Plates, typically Portuguese again. <laughs> yeah. And here we were talking about this. This is then a little bit more Victorian, uh, I would say, the paintings on the walls. Yeah, the stenciling, it's beautiful. Wonderful vase with some flowers in there. Wow. Then you have the mirror here in the hallway. You can check your hair before going out, see if you're still neat. When you got dressed up. Wow. See already the first upholstery chair. A nice cushion on top of there. Okay. Oh, there's a bedroom over here, Danny. I haven't even noticed this yet. Okay. Ah, Whoa. I get it. Wow. This is uh, the last bedroom of the house. I'm pretty sure of that. This is where Lucinda, Aldino, his wife, last slept. Aldino passed in 2007. Lucinda kept uh, living in this place until 2009. And this was the place where she slept. Oh, but you're right. Because yeah. you, you never have the electrical... This, this never has been a bedroom. Yeah. This more like a bureau area or something yeah, back in the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. The Last Supper, of course, on the wall. They were a religious family. Also, Portuguese families were traditionally very religious and are still, at this point in time, also very religious. Beautiful carpet. Yeah. And then a small television to entertain, entertain ourselves in the night. You can see that we are right about this. Here we're on the ground or on the, on the chair, on the upholstery chair. We can see that um, there's still a lot of medicine left behind from my last years in life. And even a little blouse from her. Oh, insane. The room I'm about to show you right now is one of the most beautiful rooms in the entire house. And also a very important room for the Nogueira family. This room was the dining room, where the invited family, where noble people came over to have dinners, where the servants used to cook and bring their food. Wow. First off, the ceiling in this room, absolutely magnificent. Would you say this is a traditional Portuguese ceiling? Yeah, wooden ceilings are normally traditional Portuguese. I love the carvings in there. Back in the day. It's beautiful. And then this chandelier hanging from it. It's a simple chandelier, but very elegant. Also, yeah, also very Portuguese. The simplicity, the iron work, copper yeah. work in this case. Exactly. So, and then we have the dining table. Look at the amount of shares around this piece. Oh, watch out, there is some so broken. sorry, Don't everyone. Don't worry, this is an abandoned house, Danny. <laughs> Has not been lifted for a it's long the, time. It's the, the portrait behind me. And it fell down it fell for down. some reason. And all the glasses on the floor. Everywhere. But like I said, there are 10 chairs around this table. And in this house used to live three children. Uh, Lucinda and Aldino themselves, the grandparents and even the grand-grandparents back in the times. So a grand family used to live in this place. There are also world travelers, as you can see. You can see some pieces. This, for example, is a German beer mug. And they had a lot of time on their hand. They were rich people. They didn't need to worry about money or anything. And they just traveled and did things and invested. And yeah, that's how they used to live. It's crazy to think that people literally yeah. live like that. Actually, we live a little, a little bit like noble people. We travel a lot. Yeah, we travel a lot. But, <laughs> but it's also but for still, work. It's for these, work. These people clearly yeah. earned money from heritage. Exactly. You can see on the furniture, it's amazing. So another thing I want to point out where you can really see that this house is old. The electricity oh. has been added on later. What year was it that Portugal got its electricity? Uh, the official year they, that a, a little town in Portugal got electricity 
I think it was in 1878. 1878. Not... Yeah. And this place was built around the 1850s, mid 18th century, uh, 19th century. So you Makes can definitely sense. see it. Everything has been added on. All the cables yeah. are lying on top of here. So uh, they never worked anything into the wall. So they never did any big renovations to this house as well. Oh yeah, no, it looks very original. Exactly. Even the paintings. In oh, the, that's what frizz. I was also talking about. Those are the frescoes, the Italian yeah. frescoes that we were talking about. So maybe they had an Italian artist over here that designed this for them. Probably. Could be very true. But so, so many beautiful things to think about. I love this tray that we have over here. Like a little snack tray that you put on the <laughs> table with some sweets and some other things. Pin of a girl. Maybe one of the daughters. Maybe Lucinda would put this on her yeah. when she went out to keep her daughters in mind. Don't know what happened to the children or why they not, are not interested in this place, but uh, yeah. Put chairs down there. This cabinet is humongous. Wow. I'm gonna back up without stepping on the glass. You're still doing it? No, no, no. Wow. Can you stand next to it? Because it's really, really huge. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Danny. This is such a beautiful piece. Let me try to show you. The lion in there. They were definitely fascinated by wild animals, lions. Two little pots of jam, still filled. And this very cute porcelain holder. Wow. And this piece, oh. It's just a <laughs> dustpan, but come on, have a look at it. Everything back in those days was designed to perfection, to fit in neatly here. Oh, I love it. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Okay, then this side of the room. Let's look at these portraits because they are very beautiful people, I must say. This lady down below here, maybe one of the family members of the Nogueira family. And above there, definitely one of the grandfathers of this family. Sitting on a praying chair, I see. Yeah. Wow. This looks like 17, so might be, have been painted or drew in 1917. That might be a good date. <sighs> Look at the destruction that nature did to this house over time. <sighs> Up above, whole wall, the plasterwork, everything is slowly falling and crumbling and disintegrating. This whole cabinet has been covered by pieces of debris over the years. What does this say, Danny? Vinhos e queijos portugueses. Wait, wine. Know, wine? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and cheese, Portuguese cheese. That's ah. what we are known from, por uh, wine and cheese. Oh, there's a booklet uh, talking about it. Uh, yep. Exactly. About all the towns that <laughs> wine and cheese that is produced. The lion's coming back again. And now we have a lovely desk in the corner over here as well. We could just chill, sit and just drink something. Or, yeah. And I was lying a minute ago because the entrance hall that I showed you at first wasn't the main entrance hall. This is actually the main entering place of the household. And it's also very interesting because this would also have been used as a waiting room for the guests that came to the house. So whenever somebody came into the house, a servant would welcome them, seat them over here or here, give them a cup of coffee or whatever they wanted, and then called the appropriate family member who they were expecting. So it's very interesting. Then first off, we're gonna look at the ceiling. The chandelier, isn't that just a masterpiece? Oh, I absolutely love it. It's again a bit simple. Uh, it's a simple crystal chandelier, but still, it's still very beautiful. It's to show the grandness. Cran crown molding, again frescoes over there, the painting work everywhere. Wow, the high ceilings. They are at least double my height, so about four meters. 12 feet, 12 feet. <laughs> <If I'm right. laughs> excuse me for all my non-metric people. Lovely upholstery chairs here in the corner as well. Look at this piece, fortunately falling apart after all those years. 
and also show that entrance door because it's humongous. Tinted glass windows, beautiful doorways. Wow. It's amazing. This round shape of the entrance, it's also very Portuguese. You see this a lot. Oh yeah, I can remember seeing it in other palaces as well. Yeah, probably. And then this bench seat that we have over here, typically Portuguese. Like, yeah. There's no other country in <laughs> no. Europe that you see it in. That I mean this by the divided uh, chair rests that you have in it, and that's a very Portuguese thing to do. And I think they are very elegant and beautiful uh, benches, as you can see. Up there. Sorry, that was not my fault. It was already broken. Yeah, it was already broken. <laughs> okay. I tried to put it earlier, but... Yeah, okay, let's put it back. <laughs> Don't touch this. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on the table before somebody destroys it. A lovely portrait of a man up there. I don't know who he is or what he represented, but maybe also one of the family members. This was uh, something to put flowers inside of, right? Yep. Wow. I think that's a very important man because if you are going to walk in yeah, then and you see it, the first person you see, it's very important. Then it's maybe the most important person of the house. Yeah. The man who earned all the money. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <sighs> The swan and the river. Wow, very peaceful. Okay. Oh, and all these, sorry, oh, don't worry. All these little porcelain things. Is also, Portugal is very known for making porcelain things. Is this uh, the size of a cup of coffee you would drink? Or is no. a little bigger than that, right? No, no, no. These are children's toys. Oh, okay. Those are <laughs> Excuse me. Because I know you guys drink very little coffees. No, but that's too small. Maybe okay. double the size of that. Triple the size. <laughs> Triple the size. <laughs> it's too small. Okay, close your eyes because now we're entering to the last room of the downstairs. And this one is also just magnificent. And I think this was sort of a leisure room of the house. Huh? A leisure room where you would come to just relax. And oh, a place. lounge. A lounge, a lounge. leisure, yeah. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Because it has a piano and some benches and everything and yeah. Set up here in the middle, maybe to drink some coffee or tea at tea time. Love the face that we have here on the table. Look at that one. Portuguese man depicted on there, hunting. Oh, he has the same jacket as you, different color. See, I fit in this house. <laughs> <laughs> same style of chandelier. And then... But I must say this one is it's a, a little, little bit... A little bit more extravagant. Extravagant, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm now comparing the two, looking at that one. Yeah, let me and show you quickly the other yeah. one, just to see. Yeah, it has to... A, a little bit more simpler, Yeah, I would say. Wow. And then also gold plating all over the ceiling in this room. Oh, watch out. No worries. I want to start in this corner over here. This lovely man hanging here. <laughs> Look at him, his expression, his face. Uh, it, looks, it looks a little bit dead inside. <laughs> so typical Portuguese. I'm gonna say one thing, this may be controversial, but Portuguese people don't know how to smile in, in photos. Stop My coming. father... If you're a Portuguese man, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> My father is also like that, to smile sometimes. Come on, smile. <laughs> Have you seen this painting over here on the wall? Or yeah. this picture, I would say? It's a 3D image that changes from Maria to Jesus. I don't know what the middle picture is. It's Jesus. The last oh, man. It's Jesus. That's also Jesus drinking a cup of wine. I love it actually. Really beautiful. Yeah, it's very interesting. Ooh. Small child standing on a upholstery chair. And a toy. Let's look inside the cabinet if you can find something. Wow, wow. A wow. lot of pictures left behind. Is that the house? Oh, no, no. Okay. Danny, I've seen this woman before, and this is uh, Mrs. Lucinda. That's the, yeah. the lady of the house, the woman of the house. That was the, the wife of Al Aldino. And that's her, her daughter, and most likely her granddaughter right. as well. They resemble each other. They have yep. the same yeah. expression. Look at the eyebrows. That's how you know it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then we have an older picture over here. I'm seeing if that's the same. No, it's not the same. It's not the same as the hallway. No. 
It's just a lovely picture. These are probably pictures of the ancestors. Yeah, most likely. This family has reigned for a long time. They, they have a long history and that's how they created their old wealth. I love the setup over here as well. These two chairs, this boost in the middle with the vase on top. It's lovely to see. And then a small table to maybe play some chess uh, back in the time. But now there are some children's toys over here. And as you can see, wow. wooden toys, air balloons. Yeah, then maybe to learn the children some English. And then they have the A for air balloon, the O for over back. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and I, I must say, I love the table. Yeah, and also the porcelain on the table. We showed tile. that over the tile. Oh, excuse me, tile. <laughs> no worries. Another one of those 3D pictures here on the wall. This one is it's, a little bit harder to yeah, see. Yeah, it's a little bit harder to see. It's dark. Are you going to play? I cannot play the piano, actually. No? No. Wow, still, still plays. Still, still good. And this is from Leipzig, Germany. That's in the, in the south of Germany, a beautiful city. Where, and there they made this, this wonderful piano back in the time. Wow, very dusty. You even see the design on it and everything. Yeah. It's absolutely it looks, wonderful. It's gorgeous. A lot of ornaments also on top of the piano. <sighs> Clot. <laughs> you see it everywhere in everywhere. Portugal, <laughs> even in your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I must say, yeah. Even in my nightstand. <laughs> yeah, your I'm mother probably put yeah, it there. Yeah. Look at this, all pictures of the family. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's probably outside the palace. Wow. That's absolutely lovely. Oh, Fatima. That's a religious place in Portugal. Wow. Look at the cars that are driving around in these pictures. <laughs> Jeez. Absolutely love them. One of the children playing with corn. <laughs> <laughs> also very Portuguese. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and here we have the same child coming back and she's standing again on the posture <laughs> chair. Hmm. Wow, look at this display over here. Put this back. A heavy chair. All the children depicted over here, their pictures. Here's another child down there. The same one coming back three times. Then wow. I think I see something. I see little holes in these. And if I'm not right, books. I saw this. these are not books. Not books. Opera, La Grande Via. You know what these are? I have no idea. So. These are for automatic pianos. I don't know the exact word oh. to describe the piano, but you would put it in like that and it would play for you, like literally play a song through these holes. And I think the piano that we have here in front of us is an automatic piano. You can, do you know the Western movies in the United States? Yeah. Where the piano, piano plays automatically? Oh. That's this. Oh, okay, I got it. And they got a nice. lot of these books, quote unquote. Left over here. Wow, this is amazing. And also these magazines that we have over here. Jeez, they're old. There's something oh, from the yeah. military. <laughs> and then we have a sitting bench over here. Grand mirror above it. The fans. It's so hot today. Jeez. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Not even lying. And it I'm is. wearing this for you guys, so you better <laughs> give the video a like because I'm really putting effort into this. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I also love wearing it. I feel very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this back neatly over here. Wow, love this bench. Yeah, the bench. Pearl Street, everything. Oh, and have you seen the hat? It's on this yeah, side. Yeah, the blue hat. It's probably from Lucinda. Wow. Would you wear it like this with the knob to the front? Uh, I no. The back, you'd never see. Yeah, exactly. Does it fit with my suit? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I love it. Oh, these faces. Oh, and then the pictures.
picture and the middle one. They they look like they were the precious things because they are just here, you know. Yeah, they're like put them away that the children don't knock them down. <laughs> True. Oh my. Oh. I at first I thought that these were drawers, but then I looked closer at them, and they're actually a complete vault that can open up, and the family would store all their their, yeah, their, their biggest values inside of here, all the jewelry, the gold, everything they owned. And the family like this probably would have this one stacked up with valuable things. Jeez. Oh, I also love this one. Wow. The roses above here. Then to the right of you, Danny. Beautiful gold plated mirror. Wow. Oh, wow. Can I show the the detail, the on, detail it. on it. There was also musical it's, instruments, right? Yeah. It's a flute on this side. And we got a drum to this side. Another flute. Drum. And somebody in the house was also fascinated by <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> by collecting shells on the beach wherever they went. Are these shells that you would collect in Portugal? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. In the sea. You guys are some big sea animals. <laughs> we live literally next to, to the Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. Ocean. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Follow me now, everybody, because we're going to go to one last section downstairs before I show you the bedrooms of this house. And that's another treat for you all. the grand stairway of the household. What a masterpiece to look at. Absolutely love the design. And here you can see the Victorian style coming back again, the twisting stairway to the top floor. Very French, I would also say, but also Portuguese, of course. And then you have this next to the stairway, we have this little area where you could do some work and rest a little bit. I don't know what exactly this area of the house was used for. But there are some very incredible things in here. Yeah. For example, this beautiful Portuguese made grandfather's clock. I love the fishing boat in there. Typical Portuguese, Portuguese. fishing boat made in Porto. Wow, Jeremy Quirot made this one probably a long time ago. Love this one. And down below, you can even see that part of it is designed. What would you do in here in this section? Because the bureau is the room next to here, so it was not really a bureau, but maybe, I don't know. If anybody has an idea what you would do in such an area of I, the house. I, I kind of have an idea, but I'm not sure. But I think this was like the, because back in the day, they only had one telephone. So I think this was like a phoning room. Yeah. I don't yeah, you know. can also see that there are some phone books left behind here. So you yeah, could be right about that, pages. just where you could phone somebody and just yeah. Talk, yeah, exactly, because also the landline is connected there. Yeah, that could be a good idea. I love the piece of tile in here. It's amazing. Okay, before I show you the upstairs, let's go to this section of the house. So I have to show you one more thing. Unfortunately, this entire room has been thrown apart. But this used to be back in the time, the bureau area where Aldino and Lucinda and everybody in the Keira family used to do their business and their investing and everything they did. See, there are even still some accountancy bills left behind. Just like I said, it's all about accountancy in this room. There are some big numbers on there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that cabinet over there. Wow. Even though this whole room is thrown apart, Annie, every single yeah. piece of porcelain is still perfect in there. To the right of you, we have also a vault in this room. Oh, wow. Lovely vault. Big one. Wow. Okay. But more. Oh. I have to be careful because. Oh, I got scared because that it starts shaking the, the whole cabinet. Every move you make in this room is a move too much to break that cabinet. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's go back. Look at this. Amazona. It's from the rainforest. Probably they went there and they enjoyed it and took this as a souvenir back home. Whew. Hello. It's time to go up the stairway. And show you the upper floors of this household. Have a look at this window that we have over here. Jeez, it's humongous. <laughs> the size of me next to it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. See this? No, I thought it was tinted, but it's not really tinted. It was, back uh, in the days, I, I think it was probably tinted. Maybe it faked over Because it's the same as the entrance hall. Yeah. Wow, the ceiling has literally broken off up there. Repairing this house is going to cost a lot of money. Jeez. Okay, let's make it up here. Is that a picture of Lucinda on the wall there? Or maybe of her grandmother? Wow. Yeah, family. Beautiful lady. But also that expression. <laughs> <laughs> that Portuguese expression. <laughs> is it something typical for you guys? No, we just... I don't know. Some people just don't know how to smile, so they just look straight into the camera. Yeah, that's true. The hallway, through the hallway. So, first and foremost, we're going to show you the master bedroom of the house, where the parents used to sleep, Lucinda and Aldino. Let me show you inside of this room. I think it's just a masterpiece of design and decoration. Love the ceiling, love everything about it. The chandelier in the middle. Wow, the crown molding, the paintings. Isn't it just fascinating? Then again, we have this typical, still made Portuguese bed in front of us. That blanket is so colorful. Yeah. Wow. And it looks very handmade. Yeah. Pillows on top of it. This doll is very creepy, staring me right in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's also something uh, that they do a lot over here. The picture of Maria and Jesus on either side of the bed, right? Yeah, yeah. And Everywhere. The cross above the bed, of course. It's as well. Like my grandmother says, one is not enough. Like you just put as much as you want. Yeah. Like you can see in the nightstand, there's another statue here and another depiction. There. Like literally everywhere. everywhere. Oh, Ooh, the I'm bell. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe for the service, like you ring it and they're bringing you your coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. Probably, probably. <laughs> look at this chasse long that we have here in front of the bed. If you look closely, you can see there are some hairs of an animal on top of here. And that might be of a, of a dog cat, or a cat. Cat. Uh, cat. Back in the days, these people have cats. Yeah. Wow. Nice, interesting point. So the cat would lay here in front of the bed while Lucinda and Aldina would be in bed. Something like that yeah. I'm imagining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my imagination, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. Oh. Look at this. I'm going to call this a vanity, but it's not exactly a vanity, right? It, it is a vanity, Yeah. but it has another purpose. Yeah, you, you told me before, I think, it's, it's uh, to sit down. I'm just going to show you. Yeah. So in the morning, you would sit in front of your mirror. I'm actually perfectly dressed for this. So, <laughs> and you would put your shoe on top of it, take one of the brushes, and you could clean your shoe like that and do your nails and everything like this uh, in the morning. And that's why yeah. this uh, marble uh, plate is on top of here. Wow. Everything is still there from our combs to even one of the cigars. Still left behind. Cuban cigar. Wow. Let's place it up neatly in front of it. Love it. Oh. Oh, so. that one is special. Hildebrand. That's a Dutch name. Hildebrand. You know the brand? Yeah, I know the brand. In Portugal, we need those. I'm yeah. just gonna say that. I already noticed. Like <laughs> I said to Danny last year while exploring here, I'm not gonna explore again in the summer in Portugal. And where am I again in the summer? In Portugal. <laughs> it's the best time. Yeah. It's the best time. 
When we were in America, we saw a lot of these rocking chairs. And in Portugal, it's the, one of the only countries in Europe where we actually also find rocking chairs. And uh, I really common. love this one. This is a very beautiful one. Very elegant, the curves and everything. And then another little drawer slash vanity over here. A couple of fans. Love the swans. Definitely a big fan of swans, the people that live here. Ooh. Okay, and then attached to this room. Can I just show again this ceiling? Yeah, I need to show again this ceiling. You can, I, you can definitely. I think I didn't show it in detail. All this plaster work. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's okay. breathtaking. Now it's my turn, Danny. Now it's your turn. Come on. Attached to this room <laughs> in the morning, Lucinda would come in here and have her complete own dressing room. Everything you would ever imagine. Beautiful closet that you could fill up with clothes. You could select one of her beautiful dresses. Oh, these are not dresses. These are the costumes <laughs> or the uniforms of, of her husband. But you get my idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. And a big chest over here to the corner. Uh, do you want to try to see what's inside? Yeah. You want to bet what's inside? Most likely we blankets. blankets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a couple of pieces of clothing in here as well. Wow. Love it. Chests you see everywhere in this country. Yeah. And this is sort of a little chapel, I would say, right? Uh, it's an altar just for, an for altar, a, a, yeah. a figure. And like a little a prayer sand. in the morning, yeah. This is very, just elegant. Absolutely. Table over here with drawers. Toro. All right, you don't call Toro. it Toro? 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 Yeah. The, the bullfights, of course, they're very controversial, but very traditional yeah, to Portugal. Back in the day. Yeah. You don't do it that much anymore, right? No, not anymore. I see in Spain sometimes they still do they it. They still do it. It's more of a Spain thing. It's Portugal and Spain, but yeah. they do it more than us. Yeah, yeah exactly. For sure. Wow. Oh. I cannot skip it, right? No, 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 no. Wow, <laughs> show it. Look at this wonderful sink. Little design everywhere. And these faucets above it. Aren't they just magnificent? Oh, and they can even turn like that. Oh. <laughs> These Hello. porcelain uh, sinks are just yeah. very typical. Very typical. Love them. And that brings us back to the hallway. So, they, there were three children in the house. There are also three rooms for the children. There are more than three rooms, but this one and that one is just complete destroyed. So, I'm going to briefly show you this room, let me open it up for you. Okay. So I don't know what happened in this part of the house, but probably vandals came inside, destroyed it in the lookout for something valuable, which they probably found and stole from this place, unfortunately. But that's just sad. Have I shown this one in the hallway here? Depiction of a lovely church. Wow. This must have been the doll from the girl that lived here. The set of drums. Wow. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, follow me. Here is uh, one of the rooms of the children. And you can see it's falling apart literally. But yeah. it's also very, Let me very show beautiful. From this corner. Yeah, exactly. The bed still made. Literally, the bed has fallen through to the floor. But everything is still on there with the pillow and stuff like that. Even the children had to believe it. They had also religious depictions over on this side, as you can see. Well, <laughs> probably. And then the bed. Very typical carved bed. Wood tick style. And next to the bed, we haven't talked about that yet, but that's uh, to turn off and on the lights at the evening. I can show it. Very easy when you're lying in bed, you can turn off the lights. They even had their own television. Wow. Oh, yeah. For those days and for Portugal, that's very, very special. Yeah. So yeah. I think this was the girls' bedroom because we also have a lot of 
yeah, beauty products over here, boxes for jewelry over here. This is probably for a ring or something like that. Or a necklace, I don't know what it is exactly. Wow, lovely. What's this exactly, Danny? Is this to put a candle Can, inside? I think so, yeah. And to walk around the house when it's dark out. Love this piece of furniture as well. <laughs> Have a look at this. This drawer literally has drawers in the drawer. <laughs> she was the one that collected the shells. Probably. She was the one, definitely. Lovely. Ornaments and knickknacks over here as well. Jeez. Oh, big hole in the ceiling over there. Everything is falling apart. Sad, re sad realization, but probably never gonna be restored this place. <sighs> this has been lying here for a long time. It doesn't yeah, even it's move anymore. Probably rain on it. Yeah, and then turn moldy and ugh. yeah. Let's see if she has anything in here. Still completely full of suits and clothing. Wonderful. Okay, take you all back into the hallway. Because there's one last part or a couple last things that I want to show in this household. First and foremost, of course, these people had a very fancy bathroom. As you can see, I got a bath, bathtub with paws underneath. Wonderful paws. And then the toilet and the bidet. Wow. This looks like the drawings that we saw on the sink over there. So it's probably a complete piece that they bought for the house. The toilet, yeah. you probably don't show inside of the toilet, but just <laughs> yeah. the bottom of it. It's wonderful. Even the toilet brush holder is yeah. just porcelain everywhere. Very high and typical. And even all the cleaning products are still left behind. Oh. The thermometer. Yeah. Very cool. Really old. There's even a coin left in here. This coin little stuck in it, probably it fell apart and they used it to, <laughs> to fix it or something. So you have an eye for detail. <laughs> Come back into the hallway because we're going to show you the other stairway that I was talking about. So um, I was talking about that the servants had their own stairway to go throughout the house. And this is the, the one that leads up to the servants' bedrooms upstairs. So we can take it up and I will show you their space of the house as well. I think in the later years, in the late 1900s, the servants would have been phased out from the household, and especially when Aldino and, and El, uh, Lucinda lived here alone. But in the beginning of this household, there would be a lot of servants working for the family. Of course, they were cheap, and in the most cases, the servants would just get housing and free food and yeah, just in, in, in trade for their labor. And that's why they used to live with these rich people back in the time. First and foremost, there's one room that I saw up here that, in my opinion, is definitely not a servant's room. Maybe it's not a room for an extra family member or something like that. Wow, lovely. Again, a lot of vandalism in this room as well. Doesn't really matter, but wow. Love the vanity that we have over there. The green tile behind there. Wow. Is that a medical cross on there? Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, either. Lovely. And then to this side. Cabinet. Oh. 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 oh, geez, the those noise. <laughs> Old furniture. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. That's a wow. very, very warm coat. Yeah. That coat, it's very typical. Can you take it out? Of course. So we can show it better? It's very dusty. Oh, look at that. This... That's long. This what, was what the men back in the day wore to go out in the field with the sheep or with just animals. That's very, very typical. I think when it was winter time, it would be very warm in that yeah. coat. Oh, wow. No, I'm not going to close it. Yeah. <laughs> On that, on the drawer over there, are a lot of dolls left behind, or porcelain dolls actually. Wow, really like them. <laughs> okay, we can go further. 
these upper floors and show you where the servants used to sleep. And their bedrooms. <laughs> Look at this, Denny. <laughs> this is literally a servant's bedroom. Jeez. Very small iron bed. Everything cheaply made. They literally spent as least money as they could yeah. on the servants. Sometimes you see that the servants' quarters in, tip in, in certain houses, certain noble houses, are still very fancy and beautiful. But in this one, the servants didn't have a great life, I think. So, yeah, they had a lot of money for themselves and couldn't care less about their workers. That's very sad to see. They even had a little latch to open up their window, though. So oh. they do they get a lot of wind? Yeah. Could let in some fresh air into the room. But very clumsy and very cheaply made. Whew. Okay. There are two more server co servants' quarters. Oh no, one more to this side. And that's it. You can see a big TV standing over oh, there. Oh, wait. Can I just show this very quickly? Oh, yeah. Wow. That's not the servant. That's one know. of the family members. I have no I've idea. seen this picture before. Yeah? Yeah. Ah. Isn't this the room where the water tank is? There is an animal on top of the roof. Multiple animals. Ooh. I think they're inside. They're inside? Jeez. I don't know. This is the toilet for the servants as well. You can see yeah. the corner of the room just thrown away. In this room, there's their toilet and their washing area, probably. <laughs> okay, let's you go out of this room. Yeah. What a place, Danny. Absolutely wonderful. What a place, what a masterpiece. The Nagero family, they definitely had a very, very good life. And I really enjoyed going throughout their house and seeing the things that they left behind. I'm done for today. I want to thank you all very, very much for watching this week's video. I loved it. I absolutely, absolutely loved it. And I'm so happy that you guys all are here to accompany us in our adventure throughout this place. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe down below, write a nice comment they are talking about this place. There's also a link in the description for Patreon. There you can support us and help us go on these adventures around the world. Me and Danny really appreciate that. Yeah. And with that all said, thank you so, so much. And I will see you next week in another epic adventure. Bye-bye.